In this video, you're going to learn how to write the equation of a parabola when you're given the vertex, the axis of symmetry, whether it's vertical or horizontal, and then another point that's on that parabola. So we're going to go through two examples together. Let's dive in. The first thing you want to know is, you know, basically what is a parabola, right? So a parabola is the set of points that are equidistant from a point called the focus, and then perpendicular distance to a line called the directrix. So if you have a point on the parabola, this distance to the focus and this distance to the directrix, they're always going to be congruent or equal. And so what happens is the parabola where it bends here, this is called the vertex, it's going to open towards the focus away from this directrix, this line. And the parabola can be written in one of two forms here, either like in this x squared form or the y squared form. So if the parabola opens up or down, it's going to be in this form where the x is squared. If it opens to the right or the left, it's going to be in this y squared form. So let's see if we can dive into this first example. I'll explain as I go. We're given the vertex is at 2 comma 3. Okay, that's where it bends. And there's a point on the parabola, which is 3 negative 1. Okay, that's point P. And it has a vertical axis of symmetry. Now remember, the line of symmetry, if you fold it over that line, the parabola is going to match with itself. Okay, so axis of symmetry will look something like uh, this right here. I'll just draw it as a dashed or dotted line. Okay, so that tells us that if you reflect this point over the axis of symmetry, the parabola is going to look something like, like that, where it opens down. Which means that we know that it's in this form, x minus h squared is equal to 4p y minus k, where h comma k is our, our vertex. So let's go ahead and write what we know so far. So we have x minus the x-coordinate of the vertex squared and y minus the y-coordinate of the vertex. And now this p, this p is a distance from the vertex to the focus or the vertex to the directrix. That distance is our focal distance or our p distance. So in this case, we don't know what that p is. We don't know where our focus is. So let's just leave this as 4p for right now. Okay, and we're going to solve for p. And the way that we do that is if we know there's a point that's on the graph, it has to make this equation true. So this point, 3, negative 1, let's plug in 3 for x, negative 1 in for y. So 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, equals 4p, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4, just to get this 4p by itself, because that's what we're looking for. Divide both sides uh, by negative 4. Okay, so 4p is equal to negative 1 fourth. That's what's going to go right here. So final form of this equation will look like this. x minus 2 squared is equal to uh, negative 1 fourth y minus 3. And that's the standard form of the equation of your parabola. Now, if you want to get a good sketch, uh, like I said, you could reflect this point over. And you can see the graph's going to look, be looking something like this. If you want to find that focus, what you would do is you'd say, okay, uh, 4p is equal to negative 1 fourth. Let's write that down. 4p equals negative 1 fourth. Divide both sides by 4 or multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 1 fourth. p equals negative 1 sixteenth. So you go down 1 sixteenth from the vertex. That's your focus. Up 1 sixteenth, that's going to be your directrix. And that's how you can find those key components. So let's look at number two now. So for number two, uh, we've got a horizontal axis of symmetry. The vertex is at negative two, negative four, and it goes to this point two, negative two. So a horizontal axis of symmetry looks like this. If we fold this point over that axis of symmetry, let's see, one, two, one, two, so same distance from that axis of symmetry, our graph should look something like this. Okay, and when it opens to the right or the left, we know it's a y squared type. So it's going to be in this form. Let's write this down. y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h. h comma k is the vertex. So this is going to be y minus negative 4, which is like y plus 4 squared, equals 4p x minus negative 2, which is x plus 2. Okay, our goal is to figure out what this quantity is right here, this 4p. So we know that there's a point that's on our graph. If we plug this in for x and y, that's going to make this equation true. So if I plug in 2 for x and negative 2 for y, so let's see what that gives us here. That gives us 
negative 2 plus 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, this is 4p, 2 plus 2 is 4. So I'm just, my goal is to figure out what this coefficient is here, 4p. I'm just going to divide both sides by 4. So that means that 4p is equal to 1. So I can replace this quantity here with uh, 1. And so that would be our equation. So let's see. Let's see if we can write it down right here. So y plus 4 squared equals 1 times, uh, let's see, x plus 2. Now, if you want to find the coordinates of the focus and the directrix, what you would do is you'd set 4p equal to 1. So p equals 1 fourth. You would go 1 fourth to the right. There's your focus. 1 fourth to the left of the vertex there is going to be your directrix. Remember, the parabola always opens towards the focus, away from the directrix. So great job if you're able to follow these two examples. If you want to learn more about parabolas, I'll put a video that I did right there. Follow me over that video. We'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.